Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Today, I want to show you every single thing I am eating during my potato reset. I am starting my third and final week eating nothing but unlimited potatoes and non-starchy veggies in order to get and stay lean. I have lost 60 pounds in the last couple of years following the starch solution and eating a ton of potatoes. So yeah, I am loving potato reset so, so, so much. Not bored of potatoes in the slightest. And I thought I would mix up today's video a little bit. And obviously, I'm going to show you what I'm eating. But I thought it'd be fun to show you the volume of food that I'm eating and how many calories I actually eat in a day whilst following the potato reset. I don't count my calories in the slightest. It's not something I've done for my entire weight loss journey and I don't recommend counting your calories in the slightest. What you do to lose weight is you eat low calorie density foods, massive volumes, you don't have to count calories at all. And that is the magic of it. No portion control, any of that stuff. But I've been getting a fair few questions about how much food I actually am eating in terms of volume and the calories involved in a potato reset set day of eating for me so I thought I would document that for you I have no idea I haven't counted my calories at all during this entire last couple of weeks so it's going to be interesting for me as well obviously I do want to preface this by saying I am a breastfeeding mum and um, I don't work out all the time but I am fairly active and I have a lot of just movement and standing in my life so I'm also five foot one, so I am quite small. So obviously everyone's calorie needs are totally different. So just because I'm sharing with you what I'm eating today, it's more just to see how much you can eat and still get and stay lean. Um, it's not to say that you have to eat that much. You should eat until you are satisfied. I never want you to go hungry. And I always want you to eat as much as you need in order to function and feel completely satisfied throughout the day. So I just want to preface that bit first anyway let's get into this i want to show you what i'm eating today okay this morning i actually really fancy starting my day with some good old basic potatoes i've pulled out a bunch i'm going to be making loads of what i'm making now just um just i don't know how much i'm going to want to eat so i always like to make more just in case i get a little bit snacky um never want to be without potatoes obviously so i thought it'd be really fun to do like roast potatoes like proper oven crispy fluffy chuffed roast potatoes i thought that would be very very delicious for this morning and i'm obviously also going to pair that with some veggies you guys know i go hard on the veggies when you're eating this way the way you get to eat massive portions of food and still lose weight is by not only eating low calorie density starches like the potato which is honestly one of the best foods in the entire world, universe for your health and for weight loss, but equally loads and loads of non-starchy veggies. These are the foods lowest in calorie density, only 100 calories per pound. So I load up hard on those veggies in order to be able to eat loads and loads of food, which as a volume eater, I really like to do. So anyway, I will, um, I'll show you how many potatoes I actually end up putting in this thing and how much of it I end up eating. I'll try and calculate it all for you guys, but first let's do some roast potatoes. Okay, so for these roast potatoes, I'm actually gonna be doing a ridiculous quantity. I'm gonna be doing my entire bag of potatoes. So first, let's weigh this thing. Okay, trusty scales. Now I'm gonna need to find a bowl. Okay, that'll do That's the trick. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh the Tupperware first. So it's set at zero. Oh, hold on, the unit's weird. Okay, right, we're gonna go grams. Okay, now let's load this up. Hopefully it's not too heavy for the scales and it can actually handle this kind of quantity of potato. Okay, amazing. This is 2,032 grams of potatoes. Obviously, I'm not saying I'm gonna eat that all in one meal, but I am gonna make that much because I think it's gonna be very tasty. 2,032 grams of potatoes. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do now is I'm going to chop all these up into little nice kind of chunky sizes. First, we're gonna get the bad bits off and I'm gonna kind of chop them like uh, yeah, actually, you know what? It'd be nice to have like bigger chunks. So actually, let's just go for like that. I'm going to kind of quarter, quarter these potatoes. And then what I'm going to do is going to stick them in some boiling water. I'm going to parboil them. Um, don't really know how long for, just I don't want them soft. Then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to shake them around a little bit so they get nice and fluffy. And what I was thinking for, usually um, people use oil, but you can use aquafaba to kind of give it that kind of... Um, good liquidy kind of uh, not dry vibe. Obviously during the potato reset, we can't use aquafaba. So I was thinking about using potato starchy water. So I'm going to use the potato starchy water that I'm gonna cook these in, but I'm gonna reduce it down and add some stock and some garlic and make it really flavorful. Maybe like some carrots and some celery to like really bring that flavor together. 
Then I'm going to reduce that down and then I'm going to use that to roast my potatoes. So it may be a bit lengthy, but I think it's going to come out really delicious and just like so moist, if that's the right word. So anyway, that's my plan with it. And uh, yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so I realised that my ideas were ridiculous when I thought I was going to be eating roast potatoes for breakfast because it's going to take about five million hours to make and therefore um, I need food now because it's like 11 o'clock and I'm getting really hungry. So we're going to have a change of plans. So um, obviously I'm starting my day with loads and loads of veggies. I've got all my veggies in here, two heads of broccoli, two carrots and two courgettes, soy sauce and garlic. And I guess I have weighed all of them. I tell you what, weighing everything is going to be a massive pain in my butt. Thank God I don't have to count my calories every single day. Otherwise I would just quit or go crazy. Um, anyway, so, um, I have found some sweet potatoes, which are massive, gigantic, and incredibly delicious. So I think I'm just going to have some sweet potatoes with my veggies for breakfast this morning. I'm trying to figure out whether I want chocolate pudding with dipping fries or just plain sweet potato. <sighs> That's a tricky one. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to have plain sweet potato for now, and then I'm going to have chocolate sweet potato dipping fries as like a snack later on. Yes, that is my plan. Let's do it. Okay, let's weigh this sweet potato. I'm quite hungry, so I'm gonna have like a gigantic one. There we go. Okay, 587 grams. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, my veggies are ready. Okay, here's my massive sweet potato, which I have just heated up, and my mountain of vegetables. I really do get so excited to eat what might look like such a simple meal to some people literally just makes me so excited i'm gonna be so full and so so satisfied after this Ooh, let's see if I squeeze all these veggies on oh gosh okay so i've just plugged in this meal to see how many calories it actually is and we are looking at about 800 calories We've got about 500 calories from coming from this massive, gigantic sweet potato, and then about 300 odd coming from these veggies. Um, again, everyone has their own needs, and I don't know how much I'll actually eat of this. Let's go and see, but mm, that is the calories. Okay, just on the way to go and pick up Romy and finished all my breakfast, aside from this little bit of delicious sweet potato. So I'm just stuffing it in my face en route. And I've got my baked potatoes in the oven. So they're going to be ready in about 40, 50 minutes. And what I did is, so I reduced the starchy water, the potato starchy, starchy water down with some garlic and some bouillon as well, and bouillon powder. And then I drizzled that all over the potatoes um, when they were kind of semi-cooked. And I kind of chuffed them up a little bit. And I wanted to just have a little sprinkly, crispy bit on the top. So I mixed together potato flakes and nutritional yeast. And I sprinkled that on top. So I'm hoping that's going to add an amazing crunchy texture. Okay, so I've just collected Romy from nursery and it's about 1.30. We are in the garden and it is sunny again and I'm in my happy place. This is where I'm going to absolutely live and thrive this summer, sitting here in the sunshine. Uh, Romy is happily playing with some stones. Um, yeah, I'm not hungry really in the slightest, although my potatoes are about to come out of the oven. Um, but I'm not hungry at all yet. I think my breakfast was just so big and I had quite a late breakfast anyway um so I'll let you know when I do some eating but I'm running kind of low on veggies so what I th was thinking I was going to do with my lunch whenever I get around to having it is I was going to just have like loads of fresh stuff fresh carrots fresh cucumber and some fresh celery um I do also have some cauliflower so I might do some like fun cauliflower maybe in the air fryer or something I'm not quite sure um and then this evening I'm going to be making some really yummy spinach and artichoke cheesy dip with some stuff to dip it in so that should be really fun but yes me just playing out in the garden okay guys i want to sh quickly show you these roast potatoes that have just come out the oven crispy crispy perfection and robbie's dying for some mm. oh my gosh that flavor is amazing okay so robbie's tucking into her potatoes and I am just having little nibbles of these bad boys. And honestly, it's so delicious. What do you think, Rams? Is it nice? Look at these. Mm. Oh my gosh. So much flavor. 
they've got these like crunchy bits at the bottom. Mmm. Oh wow. Mmm. That's good, isn't it, Roms? Right. I'm gonna plate up some lunch. So I've weighed the raw potatoes that went into here. And I'm just going to have to eyeball how much I'm actually gonna eat. So we've got a full, we've got loads in here. And I've got about that much. So if you kind of have a look at that, it's a nearly a half, it's kind of like a, between a third and a half, kind of like a third really. Um, so that's what I'm gonna to have to go, go for really. Don't know how else to figure it out. Okay, so this is lunch, loads of fresh stuff, loads of potatoes. So obviously I've just done a rough calculation for the potatoes. I've done about a third of what I have had in total. Um, so this comes out to about 400, and 20 calories in total and it's quite a really decent amount of foods because you get loads of fresh stuff fresh stuff is super low calorie density baby it's going to give me so much bulk i'm going to be crunching loads so it's going to keep me full and satisfied obviously i'm going to like every time you do a lot of munching you really are able to listen to your hunger for those cues better you activate um all your digestive things properly i'm not a scientist but you know what i mean um, anyway, so that's about 350 calories from the potatoes and then about 70 calories from all of this other stuff. So you see, if I had a bowl full of potatoes, that would have been about 700 calories because I've got half these veggies. Thank you, Rami, nibbling on the celery because I've got half the veggies. It really lowers the calorie density of my meal. So anyway, this is going to be lunch. I'm going to go and um, dig in and we're going to go outside and have a little picnic on the table. Okay, so I am well and truly stuffed. It basically looks like I haven't eaten any potatoes. I haven't. I've been focusing on the crunchy stuff. And I forgot how incredible crunchy stuff is. I don't think I was mega hungry to begin with, but that crunchy stuff, the more you crunch, the more you just, I don't know, you are really able to honor your hunger fullness cues so much better. So I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm going to take a little break. I'm going to go and do the school run, come back and maybe eat this. But yes, if you're struggling to honour your hunger fullness cues properly um, and figure out when you're actually full, go hard on the crunchies. It so helps. Okay, guys, so I am in the kitchen and we're just making some dinner. Like I said before, we're having cheesy artichoke spinach dip for dinner with those are things to dip in. Abe, don't worry, you're not having that. So I have got a full head of cauliflower here and I have just weighed it and it is 506 grams. And I'm also adding in these two potatoes, which is 244 grams. So that is going to make our lovely cheesy sauce. So I'm just going to whack it in this pot, stick it on. Then we're going to do some good stuff, add some good things to it to turn it into a deluxe flavour bomb. Um, so yes, so I will try and figure out how much exactly I'm going to be having with this. I'm not 100% sure, maybe like half. Um, obviously, I'm going to be dipping things in it as well, like some crispy things and some, maybe other veggies. I was thinking while I've got the cauliflower on, I may as well also add some extra cauliflower in to have on the side just for like dunking purposes because I thought double cauliflower can't go wrong. Uh, sounds pretty tasty to me. So I will um, add all that up and I'll let you know. Oh, muffins. So we are making a spinach artichoke dip and I've realised I have no spinach because I used it all yesterday. So Abe and I are going to take a trip, a quick trip to the shops, go and quickly get some spinach. I'm getting ready. <laughs> Good job. What are you eating? Hello. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've been in the kitchen for a little while making up some very delicious dinner. I am very, very, very excited about this one. It's something completely different. It's from my meal plan. It is cheesy spinach artichoke dip and i tell you it is spot on baby i am pairing it with some leftover roasty potatoes which i just put and crisped up in the air fryer so that's kind of like that is so most of that is left over from before and then i added another handful so that's kind of like half of the pan basically um then i got my dip here got a couple of carrots and i've done something really creative with the cauliflower which is i am waiting for this to crisp up you can have a look look it's gonna be yeah. crispy cauliflower yes i know you don't like the look of it it's not for you it's for mummy so what i did with that is i just boiled it up then i whacked in loads of spices garlic powder onion powder smoked paprika some nooch and also a little bit of potato flakes to give it like a bread crummy vibe okay so my masterpiece is complete i want to show you what i've got here um okay i just took spinach dip my leftover potatoes this cauliflower is delicious i think i was trying to say before i used the potato flakes and the nooch as like a breadcrumb and it's gone so delicious that is just such a fantastic dunking opportunity mm. 
And you know what blows my mind? That it's potato be set friendly. I mean, <laughs> this whole meal is basically just potatoes and cauliflower. And it's literally incredible. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, I'm gonna go dig into this. I'll chat to, be, chat to you about um, calories and stuff in a bit. Hello guys. Okay, so in all honesty, it's the next day. I have put off counting my calories for dinner because it was such a massive faff and pain to do that. Um, so it's the next day and I just sat down and worked it all out. Oh my God, it's given me a flashback of when I used to count calories in the past. I don't think I did it accurately. I think it's really hard to do it accurately um, because of the amount of effort it takes to weigh and measure every single thing. Like nobody should ever have to do that. And it makes me so sad to think that people do that every single day. Anyway, um, however, having said that, I have finally figured out the calories of my dinner for yesterday. Um, so I only do this exercise to show you how much food you can eat. Obviously, you never have to count calories, like I said at the beginning. Um, and also, I'm totally aware, I started this video by saying I was going to tell you the volume of food I'm eating. And I know I haven't really weighed any of the actual final meals. I kind of weighed the non-cooked stuff. So pfft, anyway, didn't do that. Um, but I will do another video where I just forget the calories because I'm never doing that again. But I will actually just weigh the meals just so you can see how many pounds of food maybe I eat every single day. But let me just walk you through the day one last time, shall I? Because I've got a fresh calculation. Okay, so breakfast was about 800 calories. That was a massive breakfast, absolutely delicious. I obviously wasn't super hungry at lunchtime. I had a smaller lunch of like 420 calories. Dinner time came to about 587 calories in total. Which, you know what, that actually just blows my mind because that dinner I had yesterday was a gigantic portion of food. Like, it seemed like an outrageous of food to eat amount of food to eat and when people see my videos and stuff they go oh my god how can you eat that much food to get lean obviously if I ate that that's not going to work for me it was only 587 calories like for that gigantic amount of food and I'm a volume eater most people don't need to eat that much so anyway um so that was super interesting so yes a total a grand total of oh I also had it in about a cup of soya milk um that I have in my teas throughout the day uh which was about 74 calories uh so a grand total of around 1881 calories so really that was much less than I was anticipating I have no idea what I was expecting um and obviously Obviously, the thing is, I know I've just plucked a random day. Every single day is different. Maybe I wasn't super hungry that day. Maybe the next day, I ate 2,500 calories. I have no idea. So um, this exercise was potentially intriguing, but also completely irrelevant. So please take it with a pinch of salt. Anyway, um, never going to do that again, <laughs> unless you guys really, really want me to or something. But I know most of you hopefully don't count calories and completely find it irrelevant like I do, which is fantastic stuff. Um, anyway, also I wanted to say, I was re-watching my video and when I was cooking the cauliflower stuff, Romy was on my back and her head was like super floppy and looks terrible, which yeah, but you know what? Sometimes she falls asleep like that. I spent five minutes trying to like juggle her that way to get her head in the middle and she kept on like flopping her head back to the side. And so I was like, you know what? There's nothing I can do. If I put her down, she'll wake up instantly and she wouldn't go to the middle. So when I'm a solo parent for the day, sometimes that's what's got to happen, but she was fine. Um, anyway, I thought I'd say that because otherwise I know it looks really bad. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very strange video um, and I will see you tomorrow, i.e. my today. I do want to just say, I hope this video proves that you don't have to be scared of eating large portions of food. Large portions of food can be extremely calorie dilute or just like a really good amount of calories, not excessive or anything, when you're eating low calorie density foods and the best are wet starches and non-starchy veggies, obviously fruit and legumes and all that kind of stuff. Um, but like potatoes and veggies are where it's at. You can eat so much food and not consume a ridiculous amount of calories. And as a volume eater, I need that. And that is why I'm so passionate and excited about this way of eating. The fact that I've been able to find, and loads of other people obviously, um, a way of eating where they can eat as much as they need whilst also getting and staying lean. It's incredible. It's incredible.